In today's video, I'm sharing seven Notion add-ons and integrations that will make your Notion workspace even more powerful than it already is. Links in the description. App number one is called DatePop. Imagine having to add an entire year's worth of pages in Notion manually. Well, DatePop solves that problem by making it simple to add as many dates as you want in Notion with just a couple clicks. App number two is called Snippo, and Snippo makes it super easy to take notes while you're watching a YouTube video like this one. To start using Snippo, all you have to do is download and install the Chrome extension, connect it up with your Notion database, and then click that button right below your YouTube video that you're watching, and it will instantly put you in a setup that's going to help you take better notes when you're watching YouTube. The nice thing about Snippo is you're also going to get some extra tools that will help you take notes more effectively in Notion alongside your YouTube videos, of course. So they allow things like speeding up your video, going back five seconds. They also allow you to take a screenshot of the video and it even supports entire YouTube playlists. One of my personal favorite features is that they allow you to add timestamps in your Notion notes. One of the most recent features that they've added is that they allow you to actually see the video duration as a property in your Notion database. This developer is really good. He's adding a lot of features and I think that they're doing awesome things over there. Check them out below. If you already know your way around Notion, but you don't know how to build a website, might as well just use super.so to create your website using Notion. They make it easy to style your website however you want it to look and even hook it up with a custom domain and I even created a full tutorial on this that you can watch. It's over an hour long, but that gives you an in-depth guide on how to build a website. And it even gives you some planning strategies for your website. You can see that link in the upper right hand corner. That's basically all done using super.so and Notion. Coming in at number four, we have Notion Enhancer. Notion Enhancer is a Chrome extension that makes Notion look a whole lot better. So if you're getting sick of the default colors and themes within Notion, which are pretty limited just to dark mode and light mode, then you should definitely check out the themes feature within Notion Enhancer. They also have other features that you can enable like the back to top button, as well as a word counter and so many more things. One of the things about this that is a bit annoying is sometimes when Notion updates, they'll run into issues where it's not compatible with certain features that they used to have. But most of the time it's been pretty stable for me, especially if you use the Chrome extension version and you don't use the uh, native in computer built version. Coming in at app number five, we have save to Notion. Next time you're browsing the internet and you come across an interesting topic, you don't need to toggle away to Notion to save it. You can use save to Notion to quickly save that article or that video or whatever it is you're watching, and it will automatically port all of that information over to Notion. One of the things I like about this is it allows you to connect it with any databases that you have. So if you want to connect it to your notes database, you can send things straight to your notes or you could connect it to like your bookmarks database. For instance, if you just want to save a certain web page and have it to reference back to later. If you want to take your notion aesthetic to the next level, then app number six is for you. This app is called option.co and it's actually a full database of different notion embeds that you can use. They have things like clocks, timers, weather, and pretty much anything that you can think of. And you can add that to your notion pages and it just makes your overall notion aesthetic look a lot nicer, but it also adds some extra functionality that might not be there in notion out of the box. Have you ever wished that Notion had forms? Well, that's where number seven, Notion Forms comes in. Notion Forms allows you to quickly create different forms that automatically port that data directly into whatever database you choose. So if you wanna use it for lead sourcing and you wanna have it on your Notion website using something like Super, as I mentioned earlier, you could actually create a website entirely using super.so, notion forms and notion itself and you could bring on new prospects you could use it for like if you have leads that are coming to your website and need to fill out information or you could use it internally on your own databases if you just have something you want to quickly enter sometimes a form entry is a lot nicer of an experience than going into that messy table that you have and hitting new every time that you want to add a new page 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. I'd really appreciate it. It would help out a ton, and we put a lot of research into this video. And subscribe and hit the bell if you want to stay updated with this content. Leave any feedback below in the comments, and I will be down there answering your questions and concerns. And I would also just love to hear what you think about these apps. Anyways, we'll see you in the next one.